Welcome back to White Coat Medicine. Today we are continuing our discussions of medications of diabetes and today we're going to be discussing glitazones. Glitazones are another type of diabetic medication which we use routinely and today we hope to kind of enlighten you a little bit about these as well. Yeah, uh, TZDs as they're called, uh, the, the main one of course that's still available is Actos, very well known uh, medications. Uh, so we've progressed from metformin, sulfonylureas, and now Actos. And so these type of medications are uh, work by decreasing uh, the insulin resistance in the periphery, outside of the, the liver, and in the liver decreasing the production called gluconeogenesis and so that's how it works to lower that sugar. Correct, which is a great combination because now you have something that's decreasing the amount of sugar your body's making and in addition it's helping your cells recognize insulin better and now it accepts more sugar into the cells. So you're taking all that sugar out of your bloodstream which is perfect. Now over time what's going to happen is that your body is going to need less of the insulin and when you make less insulin, you're protecting the cells that make insulin uh, so that they live a little bit longer. And hopefully you, you can um, benefit from that in the long run. Exactly, and so uh, this is definitely a better choice for most of our armamentarium to help our patients decrease uh, their blood sugars. Of course, we're always gonna be uh, hitting the importance of good diets and good exercise. Correct. But what, what kind of a, a side effect profile should we be concerned with these medicines? Well, I think the biggest concern, so when your doctor puts you on these medications, you're going to discuss several things possibly. The biggest one is probably going to be edema. Edema is swelling of your, of your legs or anywhere in your body that you get swelling because of fluid retention. Um, if that is the case, then we're going to stop using that medication right away. We also don't use it in patients with heart failure. Any type of heart failure, we worry about that because if you're going to retain more fluid, that's going to be bad for your heart failure as well. And it, exactly. And I think, like you said, those are probably the most uh, common. Uh, I think, you know, the weight gain may be indirectly related to some of this, right? Right. Uh, a little bit of hunger. Uh, so there's a few side effects that are a little bothersome, but not anything major. Mm -hmm. I think in my practice, I would remember telling my patients, uh, listen, this is a medicine that you have to exercise with. So they would not be stuck on maybe uh, the medication uh, causing some of these side effects, of which is one weight gain, and that's, that can happen right. uh, quite a bit. So there's, there's several doctors that will use it very early on on your treatment and there's some doctors that are going to wait a little bit longer before they use that medication because of the side effects and, and what they feel is better for you at, at your point in time. Um, I tend to wait a little bit longer on giving mm -hmm. uh, Actos. Actos? Yes. Yeah, and I think uh, you, you can and, and it's, a, it's a good way. What, I, what I've done before is uh, I've added it, like you said, in some way uh, or fashion of, of seeing the patient uh, where they're at with their sugars uh, once a day. And I think uh, it's a great uh, uh, once a day med that uh, your, your patients that can have a, a well controlled uh, sugar. One of the things I like about that is when you use it alone, there's very little risk of you having low sugar. Uh, you're not going to be hypoglycemic and that's a big advantage over what we just discussed before which were the sulfonylureas. Uh, those uh, tend to give you hypoglycemia or low blood sugar. Uh, these by themselves will not be a big risk. However, if you do combine them with other medications as any time that you combine medications, you can have more side effects and one of the side effects would be low blood sugar. And again, uh, the symptoms of that would be, of course, your heart beating fast, you being sweaty, shaky, confused, disoriented, anything like that. You'd be uh, wanting to make sure you, you check your sugar and, and replace some of that sugar by eating. Exactly. So I think uh, we've hit you on three very good medicines. Uh, and I think we're going to continue uh, trying to show you how to manage 
uh, your sugars with different uh, types of chemicals and you will be continuing getting some more uh, in, the, in the near future. Thank you. Thank you.